seconds, Myanmar caught the attention of the world when a massive tropical cyclone devastated parts of the country. Here are the facts first. Cyclone Nargis is the worst natural disaster in the recorded history of Myanmar. Experts say winds topping 90 kilometers per hour ripped through the country's largest city for at least 10 hours. Tens of thousands of people were killed, and many more are still missing. Despite the death and devastation, hope still flourished. As Fox 21's Rachel Welty reports, one local woman braved the conditions to make a small but significant difference. We were actually in the capital city, in and around the capital city of Yangon in Myanmar, and that is north of where the major part of the cyclone hit. The cyclone mostly affected the delta area, which is the south, um, southern tip of Myanmar. Wendy Antis is the Southeast Asia representative for Sports Life. Her team teaches softball to youth and adults in poor and underdeveloped countries. Their last trip was to the third world country of Myanmar. She says they arrived just weeks after the deadly cyclone. In Yangon, there was, um, there was a lot of visible effects from the cyclone, um, just huge trees completely uprooted. Wendy says when they packed up to go, her team didn't know if they were even going to be working on softball development or helping with relief efforts. We did a mix of um, softball. We did some trauma counseling. We did got to help at an orphanage. So we did a a whole mix of things. Wendy says Myanmar is slowly trying to develop softball and baseball as their national sports. She says this is the second time she's been invited to help teach the game. And when you do that, you really get to know people super well. We work with the same group of girls um, every day. In the midst of the devastation, Wendy says it was hard to think about sports, but she says it was still important to her team. It really provided a relief for them and something fun to do in the midst of uh, a lot of craziness and a lot of difficulty that they're going through with the cyclone. Wendy says sports can provide normalcy during troubled times. She says she'll never forget her days in Myanmar and the relationships she made. Over and over again, the gals that we worked with said, please don't forget us. Please don't forget Myanmar. Rachel Welty, Fox 21 News. Wendy says she plans to go back for a third visit with her family sometime in the fall.